Good evening. And welcome to St. Jude the Apostle Parish as we celebrate the Nativity of the Lord. Jesus, the light of the world, comes to us when nights are longest and the days are short. He comes to a burdened world, smashing the yoke of sin as our Redeemer. He breaks through the darkness in our hearts, bringing freedom and light. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please join the singing of our gathering song, O Come All Ye Faithful. Here, please. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. It's so glad that we are able to be together in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to celebrate his birthday. With joy in our hearts, let us begin this liturgy first asking the Lord to bless the image of baby Jesus that is here in the manger. God of every nation and people, from the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for our Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, you brings joy, peace, and love. Lord, bless this image of baby Jesus and all those who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise our thoughts to him, who is God with us, Savior of, Savior of all, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all to prepare ourselves for this most holy eucharist let us acknowledge our sins lord jesus prince of peace you were born in bethlehem of judea lord have mercy lord have mercy lord jesus prince of peace you are reborn in us on this day of gladness christ have mercy Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, you will come again, born on the clouds of heaven. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our Judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you, as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils, for the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given. 
Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went out to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, I proclaim to you the good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, welcome to this great feast of our salvation, Christmas. All our esteemed guests, welcome and thank you for joining our community in worship this evening. To our beloved parishioners, thank you for making St. Jude Parish your family, not just a church to go to, but a family to pray with. In a religion class, the teacher asked the first graders, where is God now? One said, he is in heaven. The other one said, he is in church. And there was another kid from the back said, he is in my bathroom. I always want to say one joke, you all multiply two. And the teacher asked him, how do you know that Jesus is in your bathroom? Well, I know this because every morning, my dad bangs on the bathroom door and says, Jesus Christ, you are still in the bathroom. Watch what you say to your kids. <laughs> but don't proclaim this good news, this news that Father Lewis said Jesus is in the bathroom. <laughs> well, my dear brothers and sisters, Christmas is all about the joy of giving. And what we see in the manger is a beautiful display of the joy of giving. And this giving began with God himself. Because the best and the finest is given to us by our Heavenly Father. And that's what we heard in the first reading. A child is born for us. That's because God loved us so much that he gave the most precious thing, his only begotten son, to be our savior, to save us from sin and death. And when you look at, all, when you look at the manger, all those people, both the human beings and beasts alike, 
they all experience the joy of giving. Mary pronounced the joy of giving when she offered Jesus to the role. Joseph gave up himself joyfully in raising Jesus and providing for the Holy Family. The star gave light and direction to the three wise men. The shepherds offered their little lambs as their humble gifts for Jesus. The three, the three kings offered their royal gifts of gold, myrrh, and frankincense as gifts to Jesus. The animals in the manger offered their very breath to keep Jesus warm on that winter night. This is how, my dear brothers and sisters, we come to understand that Christmas is all about giving. Like all those at first Christmas, we all give in some way or the other to each other. But one of the ways of giving is giving away what we don't need. It is like clearing our houses or closets of those things we no longer use or occupying the space. Good, but not enough. Another way of giving is giving something new or things we actually need. It could be in kind or in cash, like our Christmas gifts. Surely, it is better than the first but we need to go beyond money and material in our giving. That's why the best giving is giving of ourselves. And that's what God did. And that's what all those characters in the manger did. Because this is uniquely Christian and follows the example of Jesus who came into this world, gave himself completely to us for our own salvation on the cross. And this giving, my dear brothers and sisters, which began on the first Christmas, continues even today in our midst. And that happens in the Most Holy Eucharist. Every time that we go to Mass and receive communion, this process of giving, God giving himself, continues even now. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, the best way for us to make this Christmas a joyful celebration is by joyfully giving like those on the first Christmas. None of us are so poor as not to give at all. Mother Teresa would say, if you cannot give anything, at least give a smile. Every time you smile at someone, it is an action of love, a gift to that person, a beautiful thing. Give a word of encouragement, a word of appreciation, a pat on somebody's back. And let us never, ever forget the most powerful and the princely giving is forgiving our enemies. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, it is fitting on this day when we celebrate the birthday of our Savior to know and remind ourselves we make a living by what we get but we make a life by what we give. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, to our enemies, let's give forgiveness. To our opponents, tolerance. To our friends, our hearts. To the poor, our generosity. To your spouse, your understanding. 
dear family, your loving presence. To the children, good example and faith. To the elderly, your care and patience. To the lonely, your company. To those distanced from us, a phone call, a text message, or a thinking of you note. And to ourselves, due respect. And to those around us, God's love. And this is how we not only celebrate Christmas, and this is how we bring the joy of Christmas to the other person. The reason is this, my dear brothers and sisters. It's very easy for us to say, Jesus is our Savior, and we believe very firmly in our heart. But then, the second part is also equally important, that we need to bring this Jesus to the other person. Christmas began in the heart of God. And it is not complete until it reaches the hearts of the people. And you and I become those channels by which God's love goes into the heart of the other person. You and I are the reflection of this Savior in our world today. May God bless us with this understanding and help us all to celebrate this day joyfully and help us that we bring joy in the life of others by our way of life, by a kind word or a kind deed. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the road to come. Amen. With great rejoicing in our King, who has appeared in glory, let us offer our prayers to him this day. For the Holy Father, may God grant him joy and strength as he leads the church in the ways of peace. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may the Holy Spirit give them grace in governing with prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack stable housing, may they find strength in God and the loving support of others. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here this holy day, may Christ be born in our hearts and guide us with his light. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died this past week, and for those who are mourning the loss of someone dear to them, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs within our prayer boxes, the needs expressed through the prayer chain, and for those held within the silence of our hearts, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, including those for the repose of the soul of Shirley Bender, let us pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, in your wisdom, please hear and answer our prayers through your Son, Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, the As we look forward, O Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly, for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, 
a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in the love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. are indeed holy o lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them let the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, we are pleased to you throughout the ages. We may merit to be courts to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
with the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. Now let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Please join in the singing of our communion hymn, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen.
Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may draw new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas to you. Have a great family time together. Just in case you need me for confession on Sunday, I am available all day. He did not just say that. That's terrible.